guys and welcome back today I am going to be making some pumpkin scones this is my second time making scones in my life and I absolutely fell in love with the recipe that I created so I want to share with you guys today is super yummy super tasty and oh my fresh out of the oven it's just so Oh gosh, it's just so bomb. But I am going to get started. I am going to mix my wet and my dry ingredients together. Well, start off with my wet separate and then have my dry ingredients separate and then mix everything together. And you guys stay tuned as I get busy. <laughs> And I'm just going to make some flax eggs. I forgot to actually make it. Usually that's the first thing that I do. This recipe is on the block and this is just the one and a half teaspoons of the vanilla extract. I absolutely love this stuff. So this is the wet ingredient. I am going to mix it. Now we're going to start with the dry ingredients. And this is two cups of flour. A half a cup of almond flour. A teaspoon of baking powder. This is just the Himalayan salt. surface this is how my kneaded dough looks now I'm gonna just place it on a flour surface and I don't really like touching dough with my hands so that's why you see me using this guys I'm just being a little OD right now you can definitely use your hands use your fingers You definitely want it to roll out to a circle kind of like you're making a pizza I actually I, I'm fine with the size of this now I'm just going to I'll probably use a knife you can use a pizza cutter as well just going to use a knife They really don't spread that much, but I do, I would like to have a little room. And this is it. I'm going to place it in the oven. I don't, my um, larger baking sheet is actually being occupied. Typically, I would just put it on a larger baking sheet, but I don't have it right now. Guys, these are the scones fresh out of the oven. They smell absolutely divine. I like to actually sprinkle a little bit of maple syrup on top of them when they're warm because it just, oh, just so good. But these keep for about a week, just like most baked goods, but I don't think they'll last that long. They don't last that long in my home. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thanks so much for stopping by and I can't wait to chat with you guys soon. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and share.